Hello. I asked a question on the Caribbean cruise about suicide, and what I realized is that I still had another question. So I'm really thankful to be here today without trying to be so nervous. I have been trying to attract a relationship into my life with a partner and have listened to your words and still... Well, let's use different terminology. Instead of saying, I've been trying to attract a relationship, let's tell it like it really is. I'm trying to stop holding the relationship I've already created away from me. That's more accurate because I've created it incrementally, but now it's bright and shiny and it's in vibrational escrow and the universe is doing everything in its power to bring it to me, even though I'm keeping it apart by doing that thing I do that is always pronounced by negative emotion. So what kinds of things are you doing that is holding it away other than noticing that it hasn't come yet? Well, that'll do it. <laughs> okay, so I have been doing that and I've recognized that, you know, sort of focusing on the lack of... All right, so stop doing that. What else? Right. I'm also in psychology and just really feeling at times that there's a core belief that I'm not worthy of that, that I'm not worthy of a relationship that I can conceive in my head that is so wonderful and so amazing in every way. Well, a lot of people use those words and... It is a big bugaboo. In other words, you're right. If you want something and you believe that you should not get it and that belief is strong, then you'll keep thwarting yourself. But it isn't possible to all of a sudden start believing something that you haven't been believing or stop believing something that you have. Mm -hmm. You just have to do it a little bit at a time. So when you feel negative emotion, you just do your best to turn and go with the stream. So let's get right on the subject of this relationship and you just talk about it. Now, don't try to please us. Don't try to say the things you think we want to hear. Just talk like you usually talk about it. And we'll all make fun of you. <laughs> okay, do you want me to talk which, about... Which should really shore up your feeling of worthiness. <laughs> um, so do, should I talk about what I'm wanting? Well, what you're wanting is clear. You see, there is a misunderstanding. Many people think that I have to define it, I have to talk about it, I have to, write it down. I have to define it, I have to write it down in order to create it. And mm -hmm. that's not true because it's already created. Every time you had a rotten experience, you created a little better one. Every time you were without something you wanted, you created something that you wanted. In other words, all of that trial and error, so to speak, of life has caused you to create a wonderful relationship that now for some reason you're holding yourself away from, otherwise you'd already have. It. Mm -hmm. So the trick is to catch yourself in the act of thwarting it. Mm -hmm. And that act of thwarting it is always accompanied by some form of negative emotion. So what we really want to hear from you is the kinds of things that you think you might be saying while you're feeling discouraged or while mm -hmm. you're feeling like it's taking too long. Mm -hmm. What do your friends hear you say about it? Why is it taking so long? Or I'm not worthy? Or, or maybe I'm not pretty enough, maybe I'm not smart enough, maybe I'm not, something's wrong with me. All right, so when you say any of those things, it's clear they don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And why don't they feel good? Tell us again, why don't those things feel good? Because it's not truly who I am. Because it's not true, because it is so opposite of who you know you are. Mm -hmm. And so now take any one of those statements and soften it by reaching for something more accurate. Just try. I'm not pretty enough. Take that one. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not worthy of the magnificent partner I have waiting for me in vibrational escrow. I've created something so wonderful, but that wonderful partner wouldn't want me. That's mm -hmm. what your vibration is saying. Now, talk that down or talk yourself into a place where at least your boat can turn. I'm not the ugliest person in the world. <laughs> Right? You're the worst person in the world. No. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. In fact, what else? 
Um, I'm working very hard on myself in developing a career path that I'm very happy what with. What do you think? Can you see her? Isn't she? <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Not only are you not the ugliest person in the world, you are magnificently beautiful. Mm -hmm. But us knowing it doesn't help you out. Yeah. Because you don't believe your own inner being, you don't mm -hmm. believe source, so why would you believe the peanut gallery? <laughs> so it's you talking yourself into um, it that's necessary or just not doing the other. Mm -hmm. In other words, you just have to stop beating the drum. And you know what makes you beat the drum is taking score. In other words, yeah. if you could say things like, it's in vibrational escrow, it's inevitable that it's coming, I know I'm on the path, I believe what Abraham says about the stream is taking me to it, I can feel the call of source, I'm willing to be patient in order to allow myself get, to get up to speed with this, I believe I've created something magnificent and I want to be a match to it, I don't want to settle for something that's less than what I really want, I want to be a vibrational match to what I really want, and I'm willing to just take time to do that. Feel how soothing that is. But then I question, is that even possible? There's that bit of doubt that comes in, like, is that even... And people say, like, the, the way that I express what I want, they're like, oh, oh that'll, you'll never find him. Well, they don't know what they're talking about because he's in vibrational escrow. We've seen him. <laughs> Can you give I've... him my number? <laughs> your email address, <laughs> and, my and, address. Your, and your exact location 24 hours a day. Yeah. In other words, universal forces are arranging circumstances and events for coordinated meetings again and again and again and again and again, but you don't show up because you don't feel worthy. Mm. <laughs> and we'll never stop arranging it. In other words, we'll never grow tired. No one here ever says, 4,875 <laughs> potential rendezvous and she hasn't come yet. Should we stop? So In it other is words, possible. The I'm sorry. I <laughs> People say, well, uh, I missed the boat. And we say, there's another, 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 another. In other words, there's no end. There are 20 or 30 viable rendezvous points in every day for everything you want. Mm. And the better you feel, the more you line up with them. The worse you feel, the more you zig while they zag. So what does that stir within you? Now you say, hope. Oh, is it you, is it you, is it you, is it you? <laughs> Makes you start mad. And so now we want you to understand that your work is not to make it happen. Your mm -hmm. work is to let it happen. And you let it happen by possibility thinking, not by negative thinking, by hopeful thinking, not by doubtful thinking, by believing that it will come not, rather than doubting it will come, by talking yourself into feeling good, by reading the fairy tales, by mm -hmm. acknowledging the well-being, by not listening to the people who don't have what they want, but listening to the people who do have what they want. Go up to every couple you see who obviously are living happily ever after and say, tell me your story of how you came together mm -hmm. and listen to the incredible tales that they will tell you yeah. of how the universe arranged their rendezvous. And it will make you begin believing in the possibility of rendezvousing as they tell you the variety of things. There's no one right path. There are endless paths, and the universe is so clever in the way that it orchestrates things. And all you have to do is say, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's the thing that we can feel within you that's been keeping you from letting it happen. Now, you've created this masterpiece of a relationship and this masterpiece of a partner, and every day you say, I'm not ready for that. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready for that. I know it's good, but I'm not ready for that. It's time for you to say, I'm ready for that. I'm ready. You are. You're ready. I'm ready. You are ready. I'm ready. So you've seen him. <laughs> yes, and he's not the ugliest person in the world. <laughs>